In this tutorial we shall review the use of Rhino Parametrics commands. The two menus above the model tree contain all the Rhino Parametrics commands. Right click to open the menus. Click on an icon to execute the command. Every command will open a dialog in which to specify the parameters defining the object to be created. Let us begin by creating a point object. Select the points menu. The point create on dialog opens. Almost every object can be created in several ways. The available methods, if any, are listed in a drop list. Choose the XYZ option requiring a coordinate triplet. A preview of the object is displayed immediately. To actually create the object, click OK. Selecting the object will show its location in the model tree. The tree collects all the parametric objects. Let us try another command and create a sphere. Click on the sphere icon in the menu. The create sphere dialog opens and one can choose from several creation methods. Select the first one, point radius. The first field will show the word select. Define the sphere center by selecting the point created a little earlier. Next, we shall specify the radius of the sphere. Again, any changes to these parameters will be immediately shown in the preview. Click OK to actually create the sphere, which will now be present in the tree. We shall now create a rectangular box, which requires a starting point. Click on the point icon and enter the point's coordinates. Note that clicking on the pull-down menu icon will automatically select the first command in the menu. Next, click on the cube icon. The first creation method is principal direction. The first field is already populated with the active construction plane, corresponding to the selected view. The second field, reference point, is empty. Select the point created earlier. The third field offers to create the box either in one of the XYZ orthogonal planes or in an arbitrarily oriented plane, which would require defining the dear X and dear Y parameters. In this case, one should select appropriately oriented lines. On the last field, offset is used to rotate the box around an axis perpendicular to the selected reference plane. The other fields are used to define the box's dimensions. The plus minus toggle button in front of a field allows to change the sign of the value in that field. Like always, all changes are immediately shown in the preview. Let us reset the rotation to zero and click OK. Once an object has been created, it can be edited. Let us modify the sphere. In the tree, right click on the object to open the edit dialog. All the fields are populated showing the object's current parameters. Let us change the radius and then change also the coordinates of the center point. Note that when selected this field is blanked and a selection is required. 
select the boxes reference point and then click OK. Done. Done. Using Rhino parametrics commands one can create and modify just about any Rhino object. All dialogues have the same layout and work in the same way, which allows for a very short learning time.